What's happening guys? We're back and I'm really sick of fiberglassing. Alright guys, I am sick and tired of this fiberglass work. Um, it's taken way longer than I thought it would, but we made a commitment to do the mold. So we're going to finish it before we move on to anything fun. So I came out since last episode and laid glass mat along the bottom of the this side. Um, I want to work all everything kind of from the bottom up. I noticed when we were doing the front kind of air dam area, uh, when I did anything up high, all the excess resin would run down and make big long runs. And then when I went to lay mat over top of those, I was contending with sharp corners and everything. So if I work from the bottom up, nothing runs onto my, uh, my next piece. So I'm always working on a nice flat surface. So I got the bottom done. Um, today I want to finish laying mat on the rest of it and then hopefully move on to some reinforcing structures. Um, because this is such a large flat piece, I want to put in some ribs. I also want to put in uh, some wooden blocks that we can screw to so that we can build a frame so when we go to cast this, the actual part on the inside, we can flip this thing upside down and it'll sit nice and flat. But first things first, we need to finish matting this side. So let's uh, just mix up some resin and get right into it. All right, we got a couple layers on at the front there. Um, that little roller works awesome. Once everything's on, just kind of roll the bubbles out and, uh, and all the excess resin. So we got that done. Um, I don't want to work right next to it just for fear of the heat from that one kicking off, kicking the next batch. So instead we're going to move to the back here and work on this section. Probably do the back foot, foot and a half. Um, get a layer on there. And then this is probably got about a I don't know, four hour cure time. So we can let both of them cure up at the same time and then move on. So same thing, mix up a batch of resin and pour it on. All right, we ran into a bit of a snag on that, uh, the second batch there. Um, I underestimated how much resin I would need to wet out those big mats. Um, and I had to like whip up a second batch real quick so that I could fully wet out all of my glass. Um, I think we're gonna have to adjust our thinking a little bit when we do the rest of it. 
and we're gonna have to do the flange as a separate piece so we can kind of concentrate on getting the, the bulk of it done and then take our time on the flange, small batches. Um, so I'm gonna let these two fully cure before I move on to doing the, the main section here. And when I do the main section, I'm gonna mix up quite a bit larger batches and uh, make sure that we fully wet it out. I also, my roller was still kind of tacky from when we did the, the front section. So it wasn't wanting to roll, it was tend to kind of grab the, the chop strand. So I'm gonna, when we do the rest of it here, I'm gonna make sure that my roller is fully dry and it's not sticky before we, uh, before we start rolling it out. So let's let those two kick off. Um, it's gonna be about probably three hours for them to fully cure. And then we'll come back and do the rest. All right, we're back. Um, all this stuff's all nice and cured up. So now we're gonna do, probably gonna do just another section here. Um, I split this in half. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little different. Rather than doing the, the, uh, the flange part and then the big piece, we're just gonna do the big piece. And then if we have any leftover resin, I'll have a couple of little chunks cut and ready to go. And we can kind of lay them in and start up the flange. But we're gonna concentrate on just the main big mats. So. I got a couple of big mats laid up. I'll mix up some resin and we'll get to work. All right, I think I'm gonna need some bigger mixing cups because I ran out of uh, ran out of resin again. Had to mix up a second batch again, um, and that was only like three or four layers of mat. But because we're working in such big quantities now, um, I might have to mix up like a full liter or something to do this kind of section. But uh, we got her on there. We didn't have near as many issues with bubbles and whatnot. Um, we didn't do the flange section. We put like one or two pieces up there, uh, but we're gonna have to come back in and strengthen that flange. But we got that section done. We're gonna leave that now, let it cure up overnight, and then catch up with you guys again tomorrow. All right, we're back in business. Um, I skipped ahead a little bit. Uh, I was getting bored of filming fiberglass work, and I'm sure you guys were getting bored of watching it. So I just came out here and fiberglass the whole thing. Uh, so we got like probably anywhere from three to five layers of glass over the entire uh, mold section, including the flange. So this part's pretty well done. Um, the one last thing I wanna do before we move on though, is because it is so big, uh, so long and fairly flat, um, I'm worried about it flexing. So I've already glued on one uh, block of wood here at the back, uh, just with Gorilla Glue and, uh, and a hot glue gun. Um, I got another one cut and we're gonna take this guy and glue it on like that, kind of all the way along the, the mold. Hopefully that'll add a little bit of rigidity to it. And then we'll also be able to screw some legs onto here, both because we'll have another one of these on the other side, all the way over. And then when we flip the mold over, it won't rest on this flange, it'll rest on that kind of wood frame. So I wanna glue this on and then come in with some, uh, some fairly thin strips of fiberglass and actually resin it in so that it's all kind of one piece. And then, 
Yeah, and then we'll have something kind of pretty solid to, to bolt to. This one at the back here is so that I can run a uh, kind of a spreader bar in between those two sides because that mold is gonna be, well right now it's like this, but when we flip it over to glass the inside, it's gonna be this big U shape and I'm worried about the, the tops kind of spreading out under gravity. So I wanna brace this up pretty good so we'll just run a spreader bar across the top of them so that uh, it, it stays in one, the right shape or else our hood will be too wide when we go to put it on the chassis. So I got that one glued on. We're gonna glue this one up and then uh, I'll cut some little strips of fiberglass and we'll resin them in. All right, we've got this side of the mold done. Um, those braces are in there. I'm gonna let those cure up and then we're pretty much done this section of the mold. So I'm gonna call the episode there guys. Next episode, we're gonna move on to the other side and, uh, and get that side hopefully all done in one week. And then we can flip it over and finish up the front and then move on to demolding. So um, yeah, pretty good success. Uh, I want to address a comment real quick before we leave today. Uh, it got made on one of my previous episodes. Um, the fellow was talking about, you know, watching me do this was like watching paint dry and I need to move quicker and, and there's other channels out there doing better, um, doing more cars quicker. Uh, so the guy mentioned a channel that had uh, finished three cars and a truck and was moving on to another one. Um, that's not really what this channel's about. Um, I'm making these YouTube videos for you guys, but I'm making this car for myself and I'm gonna do it right. It's gonna take a long time. Um, I'm kind of time limited. I'm definitely funds limited. Um, and I wanna make everything from scratch. So if you guys wanna watch shows about guys bolting other people's parts onto other people's cars, unfortunately this isn't gonna be it. So, Sorry, I know that's gonna lose at least one subscriber, um, but so be it. Uh, we're gonna go nice and slow and we're gonna make it right. And right now, doing the hood, I know it's getting kind of boring. Fiberglass just is what it is, but this is what we need to do to move the project along. Um, I don't have space in here to work on anything else, so we're doing this until it's done. Um, if you're losing interest, that's fine you're gonna have to wait a couple months before this, well, hopefully another month and then we'll be done here. And then we can move on to something else. So, um, for those of you that are interested in what we're doing, thank you. Um, we're doing this, this YouTube channel to hopefully appeal to some people that might be doing this at home or thinking about doing something like this uh, and are interested in that fabrication process. So, for you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you learned from my mistakes on some of the things and it's going to be a, a slow go to finish the whole car. We're probably not going to be done until the end of next summer. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to address that. It, it kind of irked me his comment, but, uh, I guess it's YouTube. I probably shouldn't take it too seriously. So in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. If you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button. Um, leave a comment down below about uh, what you guys think and uh, if there is anything that I can do to make these episodes more interesting for you guys. Um, 
Unfortunately, they are going to still be fiberglass, so don't tell me to put an LS in it. So, anyhow, we'll see you guys next week. I'm out of here.